in these problems we are finding the values of trig functions of special angles. Uh, the trick here though is that these values we're being given are larger than 2 pi or larger than 360 either positive or negative. Uh, so how do we handle that? Well the trick here is when you've got a positive value that's greater than 2 pi you're going to subtract multiples of 2 pi from it or if you've got a positive value that's greater than 360 you'll subtract chunks of 360 from it, multiples of 360. If you've got a negative value, you'll just do the opposite. You'll add 2 pi's or, or 360's until you get a, a number that you recognize and can deal with easily on the regular unit circle. So let's see how this works with this first problem, the cosine of 17 pi over 6. That's more than 2 pi. 2 pi in 6 would be 12 pi over 6. So what I'm going to do is subtract 2 pi from it and see what I get. So 2 pi is 12 pi over 6. So we'll subtract that. 17 pi minus 12 pi, that's going to be 5 pi over 6. Now that is something you should recognize as a, a spot on our unit circle. Let's start filling in the unit circle. I've got 0 in here already. This is pi over 2. Here's pi. Here's 3 pi over 2. And 5 sixths of pi is almost to pi. So you probably realize that this is the sixth uh, division here that is closest to pi. So that's our 5 pi over 6. And when we divide the unit circle into sixths, these um, uh, coordinates that occur where these angles end that are the sixths or the thirds, they always have the square root of 3 over 2 as one of the coordinates and 1 half as one of the coordinates. Which one is which will switch depending on uh, which of these angles it is, uh, but it'll always be these two numbers. And then of course the signs depend on the quadrant. So what have we got here? Which, which coordinate is the x? Which coordinate is the y? Well in this case the smaller coordinate is the y, right? This goes up less than it, uh, than it goes down. And you can see actually we've got the y right at the 1 half. So, one half here is y, and it's positive. y is above the x-axis. And then the x-coordinate is the larger part. That's the square root of 3 over 2. That's the larger number here. In this case, it's negative. We're to the, to the left of the y-axis. So our coordinates there are negative, square root of 3 over 2, and 1 half. Once we've got the coordinates, we can easily find the cosine. The cosine is just the x-coordinate. So our answer here is negative, square root of 3, over 2. All right, let's try the tangent of negative 675. I've got a negative number here that's greater than 360, so I'm going to add 360s to it until I get something I can easily work with. So 360, that gives me negative 315, I think. And I could add another 360 to that, and I would get 45 degrees. So this one, let me grab that line tool again, is right there. And you may remember that this is pi over 4. And when we have these fourths of, of pi that go around the circle, the coordinates are always square root of 2 over 2 for both the x and the y, and then the signs depend on the quadrant. In this case, everything's positive x and y are both positive, so this is square root of 2 over square root of 2 for both x and y. So what's the tangent then of this point? The tangent is just the sine over the cosine, so that's the square root of 2 over 2 over the square root of 2 over 2, and before you do any kind of calculating here to manipulate these fractions, you should realize you have the same thing on top and the same thing on bottom in your big fraction, so that is going to equal 1. So our answer there is 1. So that is how to use um, the special angles on the unit circle to find the values of trigonometric functions.